I'm Jessica, and I'm a curriculum director for K-12 School District. I used to use Kahoot, and I've switched to Quizzes, and for more reviews like this, click below. Both Kahoot and Quizzes help you create quick review um, quizzes for students, help you get ready for testing, or um, help introduce topics before. Um, you get into the lesson. It's also really useful, both Kahoot and Quizzes, for professional development purposes. I've often created both a Kahoot and Quizzes, after I switched to Quizzes, um, have created those for um, just fun quizzes um, that aren't necessarily academically based for um, just to get morale up during professional development events. When you compare Kahoot versus Quizzes, what Quizzes really does the best is when students or adults are on quizzes, they're able to, either on their computer or their cellular device, they're able to see both the quiz questions and all of the optional um, possible answers to choose from, versus on Kahoot, you actually have to have a smart board or interactive display that shows the question, and then the students or the um, adults only see the options on their devices. So you really have to have student devices and a display for Kahoot versus quizzes is a lot easier to assign and have students do on their own time, on their own devices, and you don't have to also take up your smart board to do it. Kahoot is really best for things that are within the classroom where you have available student computers, either one-to-one -one or two-to-one computers, and you have a smart board or an interactive board. That way you're doing it in real time. Um, they're doing it, uh, it's kind of teacher and student um, paced. You're doing it together. Everybody's reviewing together, maybe before a quiz or before a standardized assessment. And um, really Kahoot's best for whole group participation in quizzes when you have the option to have both students on devices and the use of a smart board. I think both Kahoot and Quizzes are really, they're easy to get started with. You can create an account with your Google email or your regular email or just use your own username and password. Um, they're both free or have free versions that um, I've never felt the need that I had to pay um, the paid version as an educator or someone that was using it for PD. And um, I think especially Quizzes is really easy to get started because as you're creating a quiz, you're able to then pull from like a bank of questions that other professionals or other teachers have created. So if you're, for instance, doing a quiz on theme, I don't have to feel like I have to like reinvent the wheel. I can create some of my own questions, but then I can also look at what everybody else has uh, created before me and just like drag and drop into my own quiz and then make it my own and share it with my students. I think my top considerations when looking at software like Quizzes or Kahoot, um, first of all, as a teacher, uh, is definitely going to be the price. Is it something I can use for free? And then it was really student engagement. Is this something that's going to be easy for me to use, easy for my students to access, and is it going to increase engagement in the classroom? And I feel like for both Kahoot and Quizzes, it really does, um, and it does it for free, and it really doesn't take you very long to create quizzes that then you can save on your account and use year after year.